welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie Bo. If you're new, I'd love for you to do me a quick, quick favor. Go down below and smash up the red subscribe button. And while you're there, don't forget to click the bell button to get notified every single time I post a new video. Today's video is going to be a very exciting one because as you can see, I'm in a new location. And I'd love to say a very big thank you to today's sponsors, the Call to Back Quiz app by Mami. If you've never heard of the Call to Back Quiz app, it's the one-stop shop for all Nigerian law school students aiming to ace the bar finals. It's a hub of over 2,500 real bar exam questions with more being added every now and again. If you'd like to check out the app, please click the link in my description box down below or copy the link on your screen now. Welcome to the Call to Bar Quiz show by Mami. In today's show, we're going to have two contestants battling it out to become the Call to Bar Quiz show champion. And we'll see if the app has been helping any one of them. Before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to our two contestants. Our first contestant for the day is Barista Omoni. He's a legal practitioner. Hello, everyone. And he's going to go head to head with our second contestant, who is Kichi, who's currently a student at the Nigerian Law School and an avid user of the Courts Bank Quiz app. Hi, guys. I'd also like to introduce you to our very energetic audience. Hi, guys. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to go straight into the quiz section of today's video. They're going to be answering 10 questions and it's going to be first to hit the buzzer that gets to answer the question. You have two lifelines, you have 50-50 and one ask the audience. You can only use them one time each within the course of this quiz show. You can only press the buzzer after I'm done reading the questions and the options. If you press the buzzer before, you forfeit and the other person gets to answer the question. And yeah, may the best man or woman win. See, guys, she's still in law school. Her brain is fresh. Mine. I would say it's rust. Do you feel like there's no chance of winning? Oh, I don't. She has no chance. First time she invited your Birmingham. She has a better chance than myself. Yeah, if he just doesn't want to toot his own horn. I tell you, this man, he's being very humble right now. First class University of Bermuda, first class BCC, first class law school. So, the first question is where the prosecution is unable to disprove the defense of alibi, the court will A. Discharge the defendant, B. Acquit the defendant, C. Discharge and acquit the defendant. D. Remind the defendant in prison. Discharge the defendant. So, me picks A. Discharge the defendant. This is war. And that is the correct answer. Me has one point. You see, this answer was as not bad. It's really not bad. It was not bad. It was not bad. That's what people that lose say. <laughs> so the next question is statements and a statement of claim are called A. Averments, B. Depositions, C. Settlements, D. All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> that I think that gets me really, really, really personal. <laughs> so it's uh, A. Averments. A. Averments. Is that your final answer? <laughs> are you very sure? Are you, are you sure? Are you sure? The next question is because a will takes effect as a death of the testator, it is said to be A. Ambulatory, B. Testamentary, C. Voluntary, D. Voluntary, <laughs> D. Voluntary. I'll give that one to me because we need to touch the buzzer first. Testamentary. 
means answer is B testamentary. Is that your final answer? You're sure? Yeah. And that is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> the boiling in here. The next question is all these are features of a charge except A transfer of interest. B arises out of agreement of the parties. C chargee only has an encumbrance. And D chargeur retains all the interest. Except you said. Yes, except. Transfer of interest. Is that your final answer? Yes. Her answer is A transfer of interest, and that is correct. <laughs> Guys, are you sure you are not cheating? I don't know. I'm surprised that I'm still going to bring some of these things. These are the people that have that read the men. They're not going to start and say that, oh, I actually don't know what the lecture I was teaching yesterday. Don't trust me. I don't trust me. Honestly, I don't want to expose myself in case my parents watch this and say, I don't go to class, I go to class. <laughs> Don't trust it. Don't trust it. The next question is all the following are techniques of cross examination according to Avram Chair, except A. Confrontational technique, B. Probing technique, C. Insinuation technique, D. Undermining technique. Okay, I'm going to use my lifeline. Okay, you have 50 50 and you have um, ask the audience. I'll do 50 50. So if you do 50-50, we're going to take away two options. So we're going to take away confrontational technique and we're going to take away insinuation technique. So you have probing technique and undermining technique. Undermining technique. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Your final answer. Undermining technique is correct. In the absence of an incumbent attorney general, the officers at the office of the attorney general may do any of the following except A. Enter a null prosecute, B. Withdraw a charge, C. Prosecute an offense, D. Apply for leave to bring a charge before the High Court. I didn't know. Did you know that was going to be? No, I think I know it. It's not prosecute, but that's anything that the general can do by himself. I like when people talk and they know they are confident, they know what they are talking about. They went to school. That is actually <laughs> shaking me as <laughs> Okay, the next question is an appeal or application for leave to appeal against an interlocutory decision of the High Court must be filed within dash from the day of delivery of judgment and for a final judgment it is dash. Option A 15 days, 90 days. Option B, 14 days, 3 months. Option C, 14 days, 90 days. Option D, 30 days, 3 months. <laughs> 30 days, 3 months. <laughs> <laughs> 14 days, 3 months. <laughs> wow, is that your final answer? It's definitely my final answer. <laughs> and that is correct. <laughs> Mr. A and Mr. B referred a dispute between them to an impartial third party who decided the dispute between them in a judicial manner and handed down an award on the 31st of January 2019. However, Mr. B seeks to challenge or apply to the High Court to set aside the award, but he is confused as to the time frame within which he can make the application. Advise him. Option A, he has till 30th April 2019 to bring the application. B. He has till 28 February 2019 to bring the application. C. He has till 30th September 2019 to bring the application. D. None of the above. <laughs> Why are you fighting for the girl? <laughs> can I use my phone? Uh, yes, you can use your lifeline. So, me, you want to use a lifeline? You'd like to ask the audience? Okay then, so audience, you heard the question, you can consult with one another, you have 10 seconds. Okay audience, what is your answer? The answer is, he has some money in February 2019.
to bring the application. Okay, so me, the audience has said the answer is B. Are you going with them or not? <laughs> Is that your final answer? Well, that is the wrong answer. The correct answer is A. Yes, the, correct answer is a. the next question is an authority in writing directed to the police or a police officer or any other person for the arrest of a named offender is. A. Someone to be warrant of arrest. That person is defeated. Because you are only supposed to press the buzzer after I have finished reading the option. <laughs> so, me, this is your question. A. Someone to be warrant of arrest. C. Public summons. D. Bench warrant. What is your answer? It's warrant of arrest. Okay, and that is the correct answer. So, we are back to you. Okay guys, so we have one final question and we are currently in a tie. So whoever gets this question right is going to be the call to back quiz show champion. Is the pressure on guys? Your feet are sweating. Our final question for this show is a partnership for a particular project after which the partnership is dissolved is referred to as Me You have forfeited the chance to answer this question So the question, <laughs> the question automatically goes to Kechi Option A, consortium partnership Option B, venture partnership. Option C, general partnership. Option D, limited liability partnership. What is your final answer? Can I consult my ancestors? <laughs> ah, your ancestors can answer your issue. They are used to it. You will use your ask the audience life life. Audience! It is up to you to give her the correct answer for this very, very crucial question. Am I going to go with a limited liability partnership? So, Kechi, the audience has said that their answer is D. Is that your final answer? The thing is, I don't trust the audience. I'll, I'll go with the audience. She's going with the audience, and her final answer is D. And that is the wrong answer. <laughs> we are still at a tie. And we need a tie breaking question. So we are going to take another question. Contestants, are you ready? Yes. Alright, so we're moving on to another final tie breaking question. And the question is All the following statements are true except A. A party who establishes Denial of his right to fair hearing is required to prove miscarriage of justice. B. Miscarriage of justice is inherent in denial of fair hearing. C. Parties to a criminal trial are to be given the right to be held. D. None of the above. <laughs> I think it's A. You think it's A. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Your final answer is A. And that is the correct I believe we have a winner today. Our winner for today is Keshi. For bringing us together. Second, I would like to thank the people that set up this uh, quiz. Uh, Call to bar quiz show, Marvin. You guys did a great job on the app. And then uh, last, I would like to thank my parents. My parents and my brother could not be here today. They they helped with my education. They not they not struggle. But they, they helped with my education to, to make me the person that I am, to be a qualified lawyer. <laughs> 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 so, 
Thank you all. God bless you. Um, subscribe to the views channel. Download the app Cultivar um, by Martin. Thanks, guys. Hi, I can't believe I lost because I won't get the last of it from her. She won a legal practitioner. Well, if you're lucky, you have the Cultivar quiz app to use, and I didn't even actually add that app. I think I would have actually probably been like the world best. In law school, yeah, you probably no, no, that. because the app that I, I went through it and it's actually a very good app for policy. So don't forget to download it. Try and it down if you want to ace your bar final exam. Download the Cult Bar Quiz app. It's going to help you. And don't forget to subscribe to the video. All right, guys. You have heard it from the horse's mouth. If you haven't downloaded the Cult Bar Quiz app. Definitely go and download it now if you're a law school student and you want to ace the bar finals. Even if you're an aspiring law school student, you better start practicing now because bar finals is no joke. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video and I'd also love to say a big thank you to today's sponsors, the Call to Back Quiz app by Marby. Click the link in my description box down below to download the app or copy the link on your screen now. I'd also love to say a big shout out to today's contestant, Barista Omani, who also has a YouTube channel. It's called Noble Omani. His Instagram and YouTube will be linked in the description box down below. And Kichi, all her socials will also be linked in the description box down below. And I'd love to say a big thank you to our ever active and energetic audience. Before we go, I'd also love for you to hear some final remarks from Dr. Ikwame, the founder of Marvin. Hi, my name is Dr. Ikweme. I am the founder of Marvin. Uh, we built the Call to Bar app to help um, law students to pass the bar. I'm a doctor, but I bet you I'll do better than you in the bar using this app. Peace. Alright guys, so don't forget to subscribe and also give me a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to comment down below and I'll definitely be replying to all your thoughts and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!